if you're not 18 or older, that's what I mean. Click out this video, cause we gonna be talking about dick balls, all that shit. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, ass not gonna wash your ass. That don't wash their drawers, that don't wash between their ass cheeks. Females really like that. But would you be with a good female if her coochie steak sometimes? Cause when a man pop out with a thin patch, a deodorant, and smell goods, all that shit, all that's gay, he take dick. What are you talking? <laughs> What's up guys, it's Vibe McCain here, back at again with another YouTube video for y'all. If you're new to my channel, my name is Kendall from Wisconsin. I'm 18, I'm fruity, I'm fruity, yeah. My channel consists of nothing but lit vibes, spiritual videos, story times, mukbangs, vlogs, all that shit. It's gonna be nothing but lit vibes, you know what I'm saying? But thumbs up, subscribe, turn post notifications on. Like, what are you doing? Like, tune into the video, you know what I'm saying? But today, we're gonna be talking about hygiene. And I can only speak for the man, you know what I'm saying? Like, I can only speak for the, what's up, bro? Men. Ooh, this is a little juicy topic. Hygiene, and I want to talk about feminine and masculine with men. Most importantly, let's talk about the feminine and masculine. There's so many standards with that. Oh my God. And I feel like, I can't even say it. It's, it's like gender place because it's like men do it to other men. Females do it to men. I feel like it's society, you know what I'm saying? A lot of men, they be like, oh, if another man do this, this gay. Female be like, oh, if a man do this, this gay. A man smell good, he wanna smell like flowers and, and, and sparkles, you know what I'm saying? He fruity. Female wanna smell like Kevin Durant or Kobe Bryant, you know what I'm saying? Oh, she's gay, she's a dyke. I hate that, and it's like, <coughs> <laughs> Ever that, I'm just playing y'all. Don't do too much. Now laugh, do a little chuckle. But anyway, like I was saying, I hate like the whole standards that's placed on each gender. Like, oh, if they do this, do that, that's gay. I feel like a man smelling good is good. You know what I'm saying? Because why would you? Females love the little hood niggas and some snack that be smelling like shit, that don't wash their drawers, that don't wash between their ass cheeks. Females really like that. I've learned that, like, especially in this generation, like, not even just, you know, females like niggas that's not good for them. Females like men, you know what I'm saying? Especially, like, they hygiene be. They think because they looks be, they hygiene be. But it really be, you know what I'm saying? Down in the, uh-uh, you know what I'm saying? But we gonna get in all that, you know what I'm saying? You 18 or older, if you not 18 or older, that's what I mean. Click out this video, cause we gonna be talking about dick balls, all that shit, you know what I'm saying? Man, bro, you a man, bro? Yeah, click on this shit, you a man, bro. Females like that, and men like, or don't pay attention. Well, I feel like, no, men do this a lot. Men be like, oh, I want a female that smell like this and snap, sparkles and cupcakes, all that shit. But would you be with a good female if her coochie steak sometimes? And would you be with a female if she be musty and funky sometimes, you know what I'm saying? No, I bet you wouldn't. They feel like, oh, because they a man. Oh, it's okay, you know what I'm saying? I could be walking around here smelling like corn puffs and duck dirt. You know what I'm saying? But they feel like that's okay because they a man. And I hate the whole generals in this set of They be like, oh, well, I can do this. I'm a man. Oh, boys be boys. Oh, make it smell like dookie and monkey butt. They be like, oh, yeah, I'm just a man. You know what I'm saying? Like, I worked all day. I worked eight hour, nine hour shit. That's okay. Because when a man pop out with a fanny pack, a deodorant, and smell goods, all that shit, all that's gay. He take dick. What are you talking about? You know what I'm saying? Just cause he ain't, you know what I'm saying, walking around here, a hobo for nine weeks, you know what I'm saying? Nah, that's not okay, that don't make him gay. People don't realize that feminine energy is good. Like, I met straight men that's feminine. I met gay men that's feminine. I met gay men that's masculine. I met, you know what I'm saying? Like, everybody has feminine and masculine energies and that does not define you know, they hygiene and self care. That does not define, you know what I'm saying? I see this a lot, especially like now. Say, for instance, if females don't shave their hair, niggas be like, oh, well, I ain't going for that. That's that manly shit. She want to be a man. She stank. I know she stank. She got hair all over her. Hair grows with everybody. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's natural. We're human beings. You know what I'm saying? We're mammals. Ice age type shit. Elephant, you know what I'm saying? Take care of the baby, give the milk. You know what I'm saying? Nurturing. Everybody has feminine and masculine energy. Everybody grows hair on their body. Everybody stink. Everybody could you be stinking? Everybody don't. Everybody stinks. Yo, stink. Yo, shit stink. You know what I'm saying? You don't. You don't think of shit. And your shit smell like Ben and Jerry's ice cream. You know what I'm saying? You be like, ugh. And plus that shit. You know what I'm saying? Everybody shit stink. 
And he'll be acting like, oh, it don't because of the gender. No, it still does. You know what I'm saying? With that, feminine energy talks about nurturing yourself, self-love. No matter the gender, if you don't take care of yourself, you're just a nasty person. People need to stop making it okay just because they're a man. Or That's not okay. When a female does it, oh, she dirty. She ran through. Her coochie probably smell like Miss Pearl. But let's talk about that nigga. You know what I'm saying? He may have all these hoes, but shit, his dick probably smell like squirrel nuts and motherfucking. Oh, Lil Caesar's ass pizza staled out for five days ago. Come on now, like how I take care of myself because I'm very self. Like, let's get back to the basics. Let's 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 step back to the basics. Let's you know what I'm saying. Let's step down the stairs. Let's let's go down the elevator. Everybody smells themselves. You smell yourself when you wake up, when we go in the shower, before you get in the shower, when you go in the toilet. You know what I'm saying? That's the first thing you smell yourself when you wake up. When you hop up out of bed, you know what I'm saying? On your soldier boy shit. You smell yourself. So if you smell, it is smell like Burger King Whoppers, you know what I'm saying? Like, get your ass in the shower. Get your ass in a bath, all that shit. Don't wash up, you know what I'm saying? On our pits, you know what I'm saying? On our pits, you know what I'm saying? Under here, you know what I'm saying? You want to smell good. Not just for no nigga, not just for no female. Smell good for yourself. Because I don't know about y'all, but I love to smell good. Regardless if I had a nigga or not, I want to smell good. I love to smell good. My nigga know that. When I get out of the shower, I be putting on my little lotion. I be a little bath and body works. I do rub it all in. It's really not that hard, you know what I'm saying? Like, you want those little sweatless, man. You want to smell good, you know what I'm saying? For yourself. But y'all heard me though. But did you really hear me? You still sitting in that bed smelling like sardines? That bed smelling like onion rings? No, don't do that. I put on my, um, what's that shit called? Body butter. I put on my body spray. I put on this moisturizing cream. Like, I like layering up is really how you get the smells there. If you put on one product, if you hop in a shower and spray your shit whole with X, yeah, you're gonna smell like ass later. Because X, it's a definition for cover that ass, chop that ass up, chop that ass up and get in the shower, you know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, ass not gonna wash your ass. If you ain't taking no shower in, in, in a week, two, three weeks, and you sitting there spraying no X, or you just walk up and your jaw is dirty, and you smell like, you know what I'm saying? You just beat your meat two times in a row, uh-uh, the ass not finna do it. You finna smell like a fresh condom. Too much? Okay. Family friendly, you know what I'm saying? We sports friendly, you know what I'm saying? But I told y'all, if y'all not 18 and older, why y'all click on this video, you know what I'm saying? But we gonna get to all that. TMI, MTI, MTV, all that shit. We talk about people as a person. Now I know, as a girl, as a female, as a man, as a man, as a nigga. You know how the car cartoons, they be like, when somebody reeks? Yeah, you should not be smelling like that shit. If I wanna go to Victoria's Secret, and spray on some sugar covered apples. I wanna spray on some sugar covered apples. That'll make me fruity or not. When I had just came out, I had a lot of internalized homophobia. Like, I wouldn't per put on certain smells at Bath and Body Works or even step in Bath and Body Works because I thought all the smells were for females or, you know, these smells are for females, these are for men. And it's like, no. Anybody can wear anything in Bath and Body Works. It what smells good to you, it's gonna smell good for you. You know what I'm saying? Like, because I met females. Where they like to put on Calvin Klein, or they like to put on, you know what I'm saying? Because there's no straight smells, no no gay smells, you know what I'm saying? All that shit. Don't cancel me. Don't do too much. You trying to cancel me? No. I got proof. I got my, my fruity car. But you, you get what I'm saying? You get what I'm saying? I met females that like to put on more, you know, not <clears throat> fruity smells. And I met, well, I ain't gonna lie, I've never really met no men that like that. Like, that like to, well, at least admit that they will put on, you know, more fruity smells. A lot of them be thinking, oh, well, people gonna think I'm gay, this, that, you know how niggas be. But me personally, like, I had to step out of that. I was doing a lot of stuff that made people be like, do you like yourself? Do you love yourself? Are you comfortable with being yourself? Yeah, because that reflects a lot on your hygiene as well, because, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's, I'm pretty sure it's men out here, and I'm pretty sure it's females out here. They'd be like, well, I want to smell like this, or I want to smell like that, but people are going to think I'm this certain way, but it's all a mindset of also what you, what you, if you care about what people think, if you don't really care about what people think, this video not for you. I mean, you can take tips from it, because it's always good to learn more, but I'm saying, but if you constantly care about what people think, like, drop that shit, because at the end of the day, nobody really cares. And especially, I learned that after high school as well, because in high school, it was a lot of things, you know what I'm saying? People like, oh, if you do this, Something wrong with you, you weird, this and this and that. People don't think what they think at the end of the day. If you put on, you know what I'm saying, um, some pink. If you put on some 
some blue. If you put on some any other color in the rainbow, you know what I'm saying? If you put on, if you want to walk outside at some heels, niggas gonna stare at you. Females gonna stare at you. Don't care about what people think. Just be you. You know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, it's about what you like to smell like. Hey, expect some stares. If you walk around smelling like a, a, a fresh can of Bumblebee sardine, I didn't like, don't care what people think, but make sure you're taking care of yourself. You know what I'm saying? Because self, self care talks about hygiene as well. Brush your teeth in the morning. You wake up, put deodorant on your arms. If you, but you know, sometimes it'll be on days where you forget. And, that, and that's okay. Everybody had their days. Because honestly, I be having my days where I wake up and I get out the, get out the shower and I forget to put deodorant on. I be a little, well, I don't, I, when I'm funky, I don't be too funky, but I be a little funky. Like, I know when I'm funky, but I don't be funky where everybody else knows it's funky, you know what I'm saying? Like, because I'll get straight home and put on that deodorant, and I'll be roll my shit to the shit. You know how shit where it get crumbly and shit, like a little apple pie crumble, all that shit. Yeah, I'll I, I roll it down to that motherfucker, you know what I'm saying? It's natural to have your days where you forget to put on deodorant, but it's like every day now, like, you know what I'm saying? You're not taking care of yourself well, and that reflects on how you treat other people as well. Yeah, everybody have their days, but stay, like, consistency is key with your hygiene as well. Because it's all a mind thing of how other people judge people, you know what I'm saying? We judge people off what people eat. We judge people off what kind of car they drive, what type of house they live in, you know what I'm saying? How many kids they got, how many baby daddies they got, how many bodies they got. People judge people a lot off everything, but isn't it saying? None of that shit really matters. It's really how you treat yourself, how you treat other people, and how you love yourself. You know what I'm saying? Am I getting off topic? But shit, y'all need to know this. Y'all be delusional as fuck. Hey, you need to live your little fantasy. And there's nothing wrong with that, you know what I'm saying? Because who really wants to live real life? Because real life is ghetto. Let's hear it in the back. Uh-huh. As fuck. And there's nothing wrong with masculine energy as well. Um, masculine energy is that hard working, you know what I'm saying? The determination, that driven, that drive, that ambitiousness. And there's nothing wrong with it. Everyone has that masculine energy. There are females also that are predominantly um, dominant, more masculine. They don't really like to dress up like the girly girl or princess pink and all that shit. And you know what I'm saying? That's okay. Um, and I see it a lot now in communities. Like I feel like, like I see other females be like, oh, well she's gay because, oh, she dressed like a tomboy. She dressed different than just a girl. Oh, well, she's not really a girly girl cause she don't put on lashes. She don't put on no 360 bus down, you know what I'm saying? And it's really sad that people judge people the way they do because like people realize like nobody gives a fuck. Nobody's really looking at you like that. You know what I'm saying? Compared to females and males, I feel like males can be messy as well, but I feel like males are more like, it's like an inside their head thing. Like you can see in like the way they move, they won't speak to you as much. Like if they see a gay nigga walk past them, they'll be like, oh, I ain't fucking with him. You know what I'm saying? He like me, you know what I'm saying? But it's like this nigga even speak one word to you and then even, you know what I'm saying? Niggas, it just be a mindset. Or they see if a nigga got nails on or lashes or some shit, they be like, oh, well, he's gay or this and that. But it's like, if you DL, don't be hiding, you know what I'm saying? Come out, pick your outfit. But that's a whole nother conversation. But y'all ready for that, though, because this is a couple of y'all that be watching my videos. But how you dress, because I used to do this as well. When I was in the closet, I'd give y'all a little, little sneak peek, you know, a little trailer, you know what I'm saying? A little all that shit. I used to, like, not listen to female artists because I think... I would think that people would think I'm gay. Which, they was half white. Half white? No, I'm not half white. I'm black. What are you talking about? You're racist. Did you just assume because I'm, you know what I'm saying, my shit brown like butter, Ray J Brown, all that shit? No. But like I was saying, I used to think that people would think I was gay because I would listen to female artists. So I used to like listen to them low key, like when nobody was around, like Ariana Grande, Katy Perry, all that shit. I was blasting that shit on my tablet when I was like fourth, fifth grade. I love that shit. And I, and I and I and I'll probably you know admit I was a fan now. I, I I'm proud. I'm proud. Like if you hot a yo call your last deal. Yes, I was a fan. I was. I was playing a video six seven seven times. Yeah, I was on Vevo, watching every new upload. But yeah, people was like, cause I would think that like all oh, female like dudes or other females would see me listen to female artists and shit. They think I'm gay. Which, you know, at the end of the day, people still gonna be delusional. My own family didn't even know I was fruity like that. I feel like they got signs, but you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I, like, people have these things where they think that, oh, if a person does this, oh, they're feminine, they're masculine, when it's like, none of that shit really has no genders. And nigga can be if they paint their nails, painted. Niggas was painting their nails since the 90s, 80s and shit. Fucking kissing these bands and shit. Niggas was doing all this shit land before time, you know what I'm saying? Don't talk about the dinosaurs, but people act like this shit brand new, like, 
You know what I'm saying? But if a female does it, it'd be like, oh, well, it's okay. It's just what females are supposed to do. Females are supposed to wear lashes. Females are supposed to wear nails. Females are supposed to do all this shit when it's like, okay, but when a nigga do it, you know what I'm saying? Like, let them be who they are. People just need to accept that people are people. If you a nigga and you want to wear some nails, wear some nails. If you want to wear some lashes, wear some lashes. Be you. Because, like, even, like, before I came out, I never, like, would judge people. I always wonder, like, why do people get judged the way they do? Even gay people, like, I used to be like, why do people judge them so much? They're just being who they are. Like, because at the end of the day, you're not going home sleeping with them. You're not going home kissing on them. You know what I'm saying? Like, you finna walk past and live your own life. Go back to your little hetero life, your little hetero city, your little hetero, you know what I'm saying? All that shit. And they're going to go back to their fruity skittle, you know what I'm saying? All that shit. They're going to be they're gonna be on the rainbow. And you're going to be sitting on Flintstones, you know what I'm saying? You understand? That really bothered me that much because I love everybody, you know what I'm saying? Like, even just last year, one of my old friends, I met with trans. I've never really met a trans person in my life before. And that was really a new experience for me. And I just... It gave me a whole nother perspective on like, damn, like feminine and, and masculine energy is literally just energy. It does not define a gender. You know how the society be in the older generation, they put this mindset on people like, you're wrong for this, stuff like that. But I really feel like the way our generation is moving forward is like, we really don't give a fuck. And I feel like it all starts with, you know, the people, how people are on TikTok, just so an example of how people like, okay, there's a bad, you know, toxic, you know, how people just be Like I was saying, there's like a good and a bad, you know, not giving a fuck. Open-minded than, you know, being ignorant, you know what I'm saying? I like the way this generation is moving forward, especially like with the younger generation coming up, like really just being their own person, not caring what people think, coming out, being who they are. It's more fruit than the generation, the younger generation now, than the older ones, you know what I'm saying? Because it's just that mindset, and I feel like once we're breaking generational curses, breaking this pain, you know what I'm saying, all that shit, we just gonna be one the world, you know what I'm saying, all that shit, it's gonna be a new evolution, all that shit. And, oh, wash your ass, you know what I'm saying, don't be, don't be doing that. Genders and labels are really uncalled for because it's like, people, let people just be people, let people really just be themselves, and you know what I'm saying, but at the end of the day, wash your ass, back on topic. That's that. Stop judging people because it just reflects on how you see yourself and how you judge yourself. That calls for the end of the video, you know what I'm saying? Y'all should know how y'all wash your ass right now, you know what I'm saying? Y'all y'all really learn from Bobby Pin, you know what I'm saying? Get y'all bar soap, y'all body wash, all that shit in. Buy whatever body wash and body soap you want. It's not care what people think. But yeah, that's the end of the video. Make sure you leave a thumbs up, subscribe, turn post notifications on, and I'll be back for another video, you know what I'm saying? Don't cry, don't do all that shit, you know what I'm saying? Wipe your tears, all that shit. I'll be back. All you gotta do is subscribe, like, and all that, but you know what I gotta do. Bye. <laughs>